Missing on the excuse. I wanna be in love with a boo. Ni me choca tu accuse. Every little thing in my view. Now to see now I got your boo. I want to run it in my way. Not to go easy, come on, see me chance. That was amazing. You have such a beautiful voice. Thank you. I'm jealous. What were people with beautiful voices? Where was I? Where was I when people were queuing in God's line for beautiful voices? I was just somewhere. I don't know where and I don't know what I was doing. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> I'm so It's amazing to have you in my set. Man. How are you feeling? I'm nervous, but okay. Mm -hmm. I'm more excited. But that was a good performance. Thank you. You have a very beautiful voice. I'm appreciating. That was a nice you. song. <laughs> Thank you. I've loved it. Thank you. Tell us, who is KJ Wong? Um, I'm a musician and artist. Mm -hmm. I don't like to really put myself under like a boundary because I do a lot of things, you know. Yeah. So in general, I'm just an artist, and. What makes me feel moved is what I go for, you know. So mm -hmm. even in the studio, when I'm listening to a beat, doesn't matter if it's gengeton, kamani, nini, afro, nini. As long as I'm vibing with it, that's what I go for. So as an artist, that's who I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Your name is Kachi. It's very Kachi. KJ, <laughs> what, Chinese? Yeah, Chinese. Really? <laughs> yeah. Are you Chinese? No, I'm not Chinese. So why a Chinese name? I don't know. I just like Asian culture. You know, it, it could be Japanese, Chinese, um, Korean, mm -hmm. any kind of Asian. I just, I just like them because they, they're so hardworking. And even if it's something like makeup, you know, or even a hairstyle, it can be so simple. But the work they put into it is, you know, so I just want to have that kind of work ethic. Mm -hmm. So... I, I just name myself that so that it can be manifested. <laughs> Please take me through the thought process mm -hmm. of coming up with this name. Well, it wasn't much of a process. <laughs> I was um, in a studio, my cousin's studio, where I began my music career. And I used to just have this weird makeup. And, <laughs> you know, so everybody else from the studio, like, was just like KJ Wong, KJ Wong, you know, because my name was KJ. and. So it's just like a force of habit, like when you're in high school and people are just calling you something. So you just roll with it. The name stuck. And oh, yeah. so it was a nickname, basically. It was a nickname. It was a name that you made <laughs> no, by yourself. No, I didn't come up with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Because oh, I was actually wondering, ah, this name is catchy. It's catchy. <laughs> what are your real names? Um. <laughs> what is the name on your ID? Wow. My government name is um, Ruth Wamboy mm -hmm. Karanja. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And... Yeah, I'm proud of my name, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, mm -hmm. uh, earlier you said you do a lot of things. Yeah. What are these things that you do? Well, um, based on, like, my profile, I, 
um what i do like as a hustle also on the side i make samosas i make cookies you know mm. just anything that can actually bring income to me because i can't just sit around in the house and be like okay i'm an artist i'm waiting for my next big break yeah. you know i have to also you know do a little bit here and there i also do hair i play hair i retouched my dreads nice. last night so yeah you know it's an advantage so at, at least you can minimize on buying stuff outside you do know? you do you think that if our industry did a better job mm-hmm. you would full full go full time on being an artist yeah for sure a hundred percent i think people don't realize that music is um it's a career you know mm-hmm. it's something that can generate a lot of income through streaming um shows you know just a lot of things and i think we are getting there because conversations have begun to um people are talking and hopefully we'll get there one day but you know you can't just sit there and wait for the one Lupita day to come. Kenya, so yeah mm-hmm. you have to also work towards your goal and yeah just move further mm-hmm. yeah despite everything so how has the music industry been for you i can't say hard because i am um, i consider myself lucky because um i have a studio where i can record constantly and we have an understanding with the producer le mario on the track and also my cousin is a producer so yeah and just recently uh, the guy who shot my video he's on my team so yeah so also a video guy is important because videos are like the biggest challenge here mm-hmm. in kenya but mm-hmm. yeah i'm i'm happy because i have a growing team and Yeah, very soon I'm hoping it will grow even more. Even more. Yeah. So far, mm-hmm. what are some of the challenges you faced as an artist? Yeah, I had um you were talking about bullying earlier mm-hmm. and yeah, there's a lot of bullying in the music industry, really? especially yeah, especially for females, you know. Earlier when I was beginning my career, I, I was in a studio where um the guy there, he could, he he used to go for interviews and it was like no girls are not coming today, you know. And What? yeah, things like that happen and even females so many females experience a place you can go to a studio and they tell you um you know you can't do this and that if you don't do this and that you know. And it happens a lot. Um, I'm thankful I didn't experience it but so many people experience it and also you can pay for a video and you pay a lot of money and the quality you get for it is um, bad. Yeah, very substandard and Yeah, there's this one time I paid for video like th- uh, 70,000 the whole video and no. <laughs> you can't What? even release it, you know. Have you have you mm. managed to overcome that particular scenario incident? Yeah, because you realize even um if you find a good team, that money can come a long way. So, right now I'm focusing on just building a team that's strong. The foundation is strong because I don't want to have to deal with those issues here you are 70,000 in tafte a good location a good camera you know and mm-hmm. yeah the video comes out good but people are out here trying to eat money instead of helping you grow and they don't realize you know in the end pia wao ndo wanajaribia jina so mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> eh uh, based on your personal experience what advice can you give to an upcoming artist mm-hmm. in regards to bullying um stand your ground you know nobody has in, enough money in the world to make you change who you are or you know personally there's some there's a manager who wanted to manage me and he's like have you considered skin lightening have you What? considered yeah have you considered plastic surgery and i'm like no i like i like how i look i'm comfortable how i am yeah you know so when you get such a thing and this guy is very rich you just be like no no It's not it's not the one for me. Let God bring the people who are supposed to be there for you because it's not an industry to just go along with everything. You can be swayed in the wrong direction very easily. So my advice is just stand your ground, do what you're comfortable with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and just don't allow anybody to push you around because you are awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wisdom. <laughs> Wisdom. <laughs> you have new music. Yeah. Tell us about your new music. How was the process? <laughs> no Joe Menda Studio. Yeah. Tell us the process of you coming up with your new music up until mm-hmm. you shot the video, it's aired, mm-hmm. the reception. How has it? How was the journey? Well, my new video Champe. 
um i love that song because it's a song about my love for music you know it's mm-hmm. it's i'm not talking about like any other topic i'm just talking about how i want to go back to where i fell in love with music and i want to do it now for real i don't want to disappoint my fans anymore i don't want to you know be stagnant and just stay there so um it was just a song that came from the heart i can't even tell you where the words came from or anything i just had the beat and yeah everything just went smooth flowed by itself <laughs> yeah that's amazing mm-hmm. how many songs do you have wow i don't know i'm not quite sure but yeah, probably over 50 because mm. yeah some have posted on my soundcloud there are some that i can't post because <laughs> they aren't good enough and yeah on my youtube i think about 18 songs mm-hmm. yeah which is your favorite i'm sure you have a favorite <laughs> um There's a song on my YouTube page called Msani. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a rap song and I did that song when I felt my lowest and I had just like come off somebody was um managing me and they just abandoned me and I wanted to feel, you know, empowered again. I mm-hmm. just wanted to feel like it doesn't matter who comes and goes, I can still make it, you know, because I'm the one who started. They they weren't there in the beginning, so the dream was yours. Yeah, the dream was mine. So I can still have it. You know, it doesn't matter. So that song just gives me every morning I wake up and put on my earphones and I'm like, yes. yes. But yeah, cappella kidogo. I want to hear this song. <laughs> I really do. Give us an cappella for it. Um Mimi msani kauni taki pia miskutaki na songa songa mbio sana sikuitaji nilikuwa nimeparara sasa napiganga pasi nilikuwa nakamushada sasa nakaka OST nikitokea wanabaki wakicheki nikiongea wanaacho wakimedi <laughs> yeah <Where>? really something <laughs> that is nice that is really nice i have some feedback here from mtoto wa mariam on facebook uh-huh. samosas music samosas guy music is a career but who it pays well only god knows so before you make it like nameless the nyashinskis of the country please be encouraged to have some hustles on the side that's very true mm, mm. that's really nice encouraging as i was going through your face uh, your youtube channel mm-hmm. i realized you have a lot of freestyles yeah <laughs> i feel like giving you a beat <laughs> for you to freestyle to okay <laughs> you good Yeah, I'm up for a challenge. That, you're up for the challenge. <laughs> It will Maybe be won't be good, but I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. It should be up in a few. There you go. Yeah. Masa mosa every day. I'm just speaking me every way. Uh, I'm KJ. I'm sitting here and I know that KU is the best here. Yeah. I'm rocking with my jeans. Yeah. And I'm holding the mic might drop when I step on the floor you know that I'm I'm the bomb yeah got dreads got locks I'm locked in yeah you gaze on me gaze in my eyes in my mm, yeah uh yeah let's see where's the uh <laughs> I didn't promise it would be good. <laughs> that was not, no, 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 no. You've, 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 um, you've vibed with the beat really well. Yeah. And someone here says KJ Wong is talented from the lyrics to the voice. You won, Wong, you won. <laughs> yes, that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, so far in mm-hmm. your musical journey, mm-hmm. which is the highlights of the journey, like in Leonardo Sema, this, this I will never forget. The one that made you the most happiest like ukamko kasema i'm glad i made this decision to be an artist <laughs> well i can't say i have got a highlight yet but mm-hmm. what i can come what can come to mind is every time i post a new video like my new video and i keep adding subscribers and people are there commenting keep doing it one day you're gonna make it that's that's what gives me happiness like You know, I don't care that right now I have a little bit over 500 views. I know one day if I keep consistent and if I keep doing my thing, mm-hmm. one day I'm going to keep growing. The so 500 will have a K at the end. Exactly. Yeah. So that's my highlight that people actually like what I'm doing and they appreciate me for 
for exactly what I'm doing, you know. They mm-hmm. don't tell me oh, hapana sasa anza kuimba kama sijui nani. You know, that's that's what is my highlight. Mm. Yeah. That's amazing. Uh, how do you market your music? Um right now What marketing strategy do you use? Uh-huh. Right now um <laughs> just through Instagram, TikTok, you know, social media basically. So um very soon i'm gonna have my music on itunes apple music and all mm-hmm. spotify all platforms but for now uh, what i'm doing is just building my portfolio my profile i want mm-hmm. people to go there for a reason mm-hmm. you know just be bombarded by content yeah so right now i'm just marketing myself through youtube i do a little here and there post a little here and there and yeah for now mm-hmm. <laughs> but i know you should be doing more than that mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah uh, when you started your music career you started in 2018 yeah when you started 2018 that's roughly 18 19 20 21 20, that's roughly four years ago yeah four years ago four years ago <laughs> to now <laughs> uh-huh. is four years <laughs> yeah how do you feel like this progress so far yeah that's uh, when you started you mm-hmm. had a vision that this is where i want to be Two, three, four years from now. Yeah. Now this is the four years from then. Yes. Are you where you wanted to be? You know, when you're starting, personally, when I was starting, I used to think I'm the best. There's nobody, there's nobody who's like me. Mm-hmm. And every other person is just playing. I don't have competition. But right now, where I am, I'm, I'm like, gosh, I, I still have a long way to go. You know. I still need to improve. Mm-hmm. My fans need expect me to be better next time, you know. I need to be better if I want to go, you know, even further international. So, yeah, I think I've grown but if I was saying like back in 2018 like mm-hmm. this is what I thought I thought really I would have been made it to the Grammys by now. Mm-hmm. You know, you really <laughs> think it's that quick, yeah. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. before you have an idea of what you're doing. And back then I I didn't even have good lyrics. I, I was just trying, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But now, yeah, for sure I'm, I'm, I can see I'm like on the right path. So. What is this lesson that you have learned from the time you started? <laughs> oh gosh, it's not that easy. There's a lot of work that you have to put into place because even the commitment to stay in a studio, your board no ideas are flowing, but you have to do that song, mm-hmm. you know, just to follow through, finish what you started in short. Consistency. Yeah that's, uh, that's you really learn to be consistent mm-hmm. especially when you start growing your fan base because they're depending on you mm-hmm. now watu watakutoka hey. as soon as you stop delivering that's they disappear it. and move to the yeah next. you can go back to zero subscribers mm-hmm. <laughs> it's very easy who are your role models in the industry wow i have one like okay who I, is i this know one? i know it's, she's not local but you know rihanna mm-hmm. she, the way she just is Um, maybe she's made mistakes she's very human you know you mm-hmm. can see where she maybe he did this and that and you can appreciate her because right now she just does what she wants and she's making her name so you know broad mm-hmm. just you know she's not just doing music you just know her as Rihanna a musician right now she's doing her stuff and that's what i want to emulate i want to do everything i can possibly do and give back mm-hmm. that's that's my only hope mm-hmm. yeah What you don't have a local person you look up to anyone? <laughs> anyone? Yeah, I I like Saudi Soul. You know why? Because they really they have that sound that is personal to them, you mm-hmm. know. I like unique people. So, if you have a sound that's personal to you, mtu akisikia kwa radio, how ni Saudi Soul? When ni KJ? Yeah, I like I mm. like people who are like that. Be distinctive. You don't have to sound like every other person yeah. on TV, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nakai kuji. It's not for you. <laughs> uh, who is your biggest competition in the industry at the moment? Um Kenya. <laughs> at a local if you at even local. at international kama uko na eh, mwanasema this is my competition. Well, um personally I don't really go uh, looking for I like music. So, nikisikia song ya mtu inabamba, I will like it, I will like you. Mm-hmm. And I will feel like yes, keep doing you. So I, I don't really. My competition is myself. I really next time Nikki do songs as and collect. You wanna I, be better than yeah, champa ya pana yo ikuweza bado do better. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. Personally, I've learned that if you follow up with yourself, you go further. You don't. You're not straying from your direction because people kianza kuangalia huyu mungine. You find that um, 
you start getting distracted doing mm -hmm. other things yeah so yeah i'm my competition yeah what is this new thing that you're bringing to the industry what are you bringing to the table well um i'm not sure i know that yet but mm -hmm. i'm sure my fans will find that out mm -hmm. for me but um i think that i'm open-minded you know mm -hmm. like i listen to criticism i think that um i feel like people can grow more when they're just open so i feel like yeah I do any genre that comes my way because I want to challenge myself. Mm -hmm. It's not because I want to be everywhere and I'm not focusing on one thing, but I believe that I can do more than just one thing, you know. So, yeah, I think that's what's different with me because I feel like at a extra kaza niambia to do song, I'm, I'm going to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. Saudi soul, I'm going to be comfortable, you know. Yeah. Even if a Nigerian comes, I'll still You're do it. You're good to go. Yeah. Whatever comes comes. Exactly. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I've really enjoyed the conversation. Kindly uh, give us your social media platforms and mm -hmm. a parting shot as we come to the end. And also you'll give us a song before we wind up, right? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. mm. A parting shot, your social media platforms. Yeah, and the song. Okay, so parting shot. What I would say to anybody who's just trying to do anything, you know, remember that you're a brand on your own. So even if you're selling shoes, anything, you have to make sure that you... Um, just make sure you brand yourself appropriately. Make sure people can want to come to you. You have to be approachable, you know. And that's what I'm also learning for myself right now. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and just be yourself. I can't, in I can't insist that anymore, anymore, but just be yourself because people out here are faking. People out here have identities that are not theirs. And that's what brings about mental problems, all that. Just be, stick to yourself, love yourself. Who cares? They don't, but love yourself. And um, social media, mm -hmm. um, Instagram, it's K-A-Y-J underscore Wong. And YouTube, it's K-A-Y space J space Wong. Nice. The floor is yours. Entertain us. <laughs> Give us a performance. But right before she gets into her performance, we will be coming back with the conversation on bullying. We will be coming back with Mr. Mugane Mugo, a social relationships expert, here to give us tips and stories and, you know, expertise on how to deal with bullying, especially in the workplace. Take take a shower, nika call Uber, nika pack a lip balm, nika pick a picture, nika eka insta, nika zima sima, mi nika jichuja na nika enda form. The rear na enda slow mo, unge dani ya me chop and dom, westi kunaka kume chrome, na meza ime jaka pond. Jana usi kuzili nice, manze zangu zili vaka, manze ni lisi mahantas, manze sasa ni mahanda. Jana usiku zili nice Manze nilienda westi Manze nikapoteza tenje Manze sasa nikavambe Kavambe Ah, uh, nakatambe Shot after shot kama ride Shashi kolit kama grede Boy ni mfine na si brade If we ride Kama fries na mchipo Tuka duck kama dingo Sticks kao dijo Stingo si imbo Ana dai tu tufike home Oh Tuka fika tarts, label cognac, kama cognac Tuka sip slow, kama steep slope, tuka go low Kani me bleki dos, kumbuki niki dos Jana usiku zili nice, manze zangu zili vaka Manze nilisi mahantas, manze sasa ni mahanga Jana usiku zili nice, manze nilienda westi Manze nikapoteza tenje, 
Manzi, sasa nikabambe 